Welcome to my KTM video playlist. Today we are going to discuss about velocity ratio of open bale drive and compound bale drive. So let's see one by one. First, see the velocity ratio of open bale drive. So here in this figure you can see this is the open bale drive arrangement where power is transmitted from one shaft to the another shaft and both the shaft having same direction. In this figure also you can see two different views so that you can understand exactly the arrangement. Both the shaft are parallel to each other and both having the same direction. And here you can see this is the driver. So it will pull from this direction because of it is rotating in the clockwise direction. So this will be the tight side and so that it will be the slack side. So now see first of all what do you mean by velocity ratio. So it is a ratio between the velocities of driven and driver simply. So here you can see this is the driven and this is the driver. Or you can say this is the driven shaft and this one will be the driving shaft. So it is a ratio of the velocity of the driven shaft to the velocity of the driver. So if I want to write in mathematically, so let's say D1 is the diameter of the driver pulley and D2 is the diameter of the driven pulley or simply it is called as a follower pulley. N1 is the speed of the driver that is generally in revolution per minute or simply you can say RPM and so that N2 will be the speed of the follower that is also in RPM. Now let's see peripheral velocity of the belt on the driver. So here we are talking about this side. So if the peripheral velocity of the belt on the driver, I mean the velocity is pi d n by 60, you know very well this formula. But here this belt is attached with this driver. And that's why it is d1 and n1. So very simple, you know that the velocity of the belt V that is equal to pi dn upon 60. But here the belt is attached with the driver and so that it will be the dimension of the driver. Now next, peripheral velocity of the belt on the driven. So here we are talking about the belt which is attached to the driven. So once again you know that velocity is equal to pi d n upon 60 but here the belt is attached with the driven that's why it is d2 and n2. Now if there is no slip between belt and pulley then the speed of the belt is same for both these cases because the belt is the same. So we can say simply v1 is equal to v2. So now I can compare these two value. So I can say pi d1 n1 upon 60 is equal to pi d2 n2 upon 60. Now simply you can say pi by 60 will be cancelled from the both side. And next you can simplify. So n2 upon n1 is equal to d1 upon d2. So this is actually the velocity ratio for the open belt drive. So this is a very simple introduction of the velocity ratio. Now further, this velocity ratio is modified over here. N2 upon N1 is equal to D1 upon D2, but here the thickness is considered. So if the thickness of the belt is comparatively high, then you have to consider the value of the thickness of the belt also. So if you consider the thickness of the belt, then this will be the formula for the velocity ratio. Now velocity ratio of compound belt drive. As we have discussed earlier, here you can see on this shaft there are two pulleys. So it is called as the compound belt drive. Now once again, very simple as we have discussed earlier, it is the ratio between the velocity of the driven and driver. Here pulley 1 is driving the pulley 2. 
here you can see pulley 1 is the driver and pulley 2 is the driven so pulley 1 is driving the pulley 2 since pulley 2 and 3 e to the same shaft so you can say pulley 1 is also drives the pulley 3 which in turns drives the pulley 4 now let's say d1 is the diameter of the pulley 1 so that you can understand n1 will be the speed of the pulley 1 similarly you can consider d2 d3 d4 and n2 n3 n4 are corresponding values for the pulley 2 3 and 4 now as we have discussed earlier velocity ratio of the pulley 1 and 2 because of if you consider this arrangement only then pulley 1 will be the driver and pulley 2 will be the driven and so that you can say n2 upon n1 is equal to d1 upon d2 let's say it is equation number 1 now next velocity ratio of pulley 3 and 4 now if you consider this only that means here this pulley will be the driver pulley and this one will be the driven pulley so once again you can say velocity ratio is n4 upon n3 is equal to d3 upon d4 let's say it is equation number 2 now multiply equation 1 with equation 2 so already we have derived this two equation now multiply this two equation so very simple n2 upon n1 into n4 upon n3 is equal to d1 upon d2 into d3 upon d4 so multiplication of left side is equal to multiplication of the right side let's say it is equation number three here observe this figure carefully here pulley 2 and pulley 3 are keyed on the same shaft that means both the pulleys are mounted on this shaft with the key that means the speed of pulley 2 and speed of pulley 3 will be same so simply you can say n2 is equal to n3 so here it will be cancel n2 and n3 so that there will be n4 upon n1 only and here it is same equation so very important thing here n2 and n3 will be cancelled because of both are the same thing so the remaining term n4 upon n1 is equal to this one and this one is a velocity ratio for the compound belt drive so make a box now here if there are six pulleys in compound belt drive then what will happen here you can see there are four pulleys one two three and four if there are six pulleys that means if you are using one more shaft having two different pulleys then what will be the velocity ratio in case of this compound belt drive so very simple you can understand from this one it will be n6 upon n1 is equal to d1 upon d2 into d3 upon d4 as it is but one more shaft having two pulleys so will be like this d5 upon d6 so that will be multiplied over here so now you can understand whatever it may be the pulleys you can generate this equation now observe it carefully here d1 d3 and d5 that means the numerator all these diameters are actually the diameter of the driver pulleys once again consider over here if the power is transmitted from 1 to 2 then 1 will be the driver next power is transmitted from 3 to 4 so once again 3 is the driver so here you can see d1 d3 both are the driver if there are 6 pulley then d5 will be the driver so all the numerators are actually the diameters of the driver so it is called as the products of diameters of the driver similarly d2 d4 and d6 all will be the diameters for the driven simply you have to remember that in case of compound wheel drive the velocity ratio n6 upon n1 will be equal to the products of diameters of the drivers upon products of the diameters of the driven thanks my dear friends for watching this video press the like button to appreciate